Hi guys, my name is Lala. You're welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today we'll be learning how to sew a pinafore dress. Okay, so uh, we're going to start from the bodies. So my table here, I have um, my pattern paper and my partially dotted bodies pattern. So this is my front and my back um, blocks. Okay, so this is my shoulder line, my chest line, and of course this is my waist line. So on my shoulder line, okay, I've marked half of my shoulder measurements on the shoulder and chest line, and I drew a line here. Then on the chest line, I've marked quarter of my bust circumference plus one inch for seam allowance. Then on the waist line, I have quarter of my waist circumference plus one inch for that, then one inch for seam allowance. Same thing for the back block, same thing, okay. Now, um... This bodice is going to be having um, a little wrap in front, but um, it's going to be sealed. Okay, now, the first thing we want to do now, after wrapping all of this, is to get the neckline. Okay, so um, my shoulder measurement here is 7, so my neck width, I'll be working with 5 inches. Okay, then, um, now... I want the neckline of this pinafore to be very deep, okay? So the depth of the pinafore, that's the neckline, it depends on what you want. But I want my own to come as low as um, 12 or 12.5 12 inches, okay? So this is the starting point of my neckline. It will pass through here. And since it's going to have a little wrap, I'm going to extend my waistline forward. Meanwhile, this is my center front line. I'm going to extend my um, waistline beyond the center front line. I will extend it by the length of my bust span. Now, for me, my um, half of my bust span is four inches. Okay, so I'm going to extend this by four. To get your own bust span is very easy. Just measure your nipple to nipple measurement. So half of that will give you half of the bust span. So I have three points: one, two, three. Okay, so. Um, let me use my pencil before I can use my marker to highlight it out in case of any mistake. So like I said, I want to connect these three points together. So, I've already used my pencil, but I know most of us cannot see it. So, I'll first of all um, connect the two points together, like this. So you can make your own, your own um, neckline deeper. Then, another thing again, my half length, I use 17. 17 for my half length if you have a very flat tummy you can make your half length longer a bit longer but i don't always like my own half length to be too long so i use 17 here okay then i'm going to use my curve to try to connect this line and the last point here so um this is called a pattern master okay can you see what i've done okay so now i can go ahead to construct my armhole now from the shoulder line I'm going to go down by one inch then I'll have my shoulder slant this way then for the armhole in front we always go in by three quarter of an inch so I'll measure from here to here find the midpoint come in by three quarter of an inch and I'll use my French curve to create my armhole it's that simple so so simple here can you see so this is my front okay so we're going to be adding 0 0.5 inch seam allowance the shoulder tip the armhole here and of course the waistline now let's quickly go to the back let's go to the back now for the back i've already measured quarter of my waist circumference plus that intake okay then plus seam allowance here now you don't want your zipper at the back to have a bulge so what do you do okay now before i do that let me quickly just my let me quickly mark my darts okay so for your back your darts can get to the chest line okay so i'm going to just mark my darts half half inch on both sides of the dark line like so okay so after you've you know um plotted your drag your dart i mean to say you can now reshape this center back line so that your zipper will not be bulging out so what do you do 
you come in here by one inch and reshape the center back so this is now my center back okay now because I've taken in one inch I have to return the one inch back here so I'm going to mark this like this okay so this is this is where my back pattern starts from and my front here okay now let's add our zip allowance so zipper allowance is one inch meanwhile we've not yet marked um the neckline for the back now for the back you can decide to also make the back to have um a very sharp v like this or you can make the back to be high whichever one it depends on what you want so i'll just um my neck width here is five for the neck depth i'll just maintain um two inches and if you want to make yours to be v you can bring it down as as low as you know the chest line or even you know the same depth with the front it, it really depends on what you want okay let's just let's give it a little twist let's give it a little twist okay um let me do 10 inches instead of the normal neckline let me do 10 inches so i'll just connect here to here can you see so this is where my zipper is going to be understand then let's create our shoulder slants one inch then for the back armhole i'll find the midpoint from here, between here and here that's four i'm going to go in by half an inch this is half then with my french curve i'm going to create my armhole for the back okay so i'll add half inch seam allowance half inch half inch when i'm transferring it to my fabric so quickly i'm going to cut out and show the patterns okay so here's my back pattern you can see that i've added my allowance half inch allowance round okay then i have my two back pieces okay and i'm also i'm using my fabric as a lining so, so i have four pieces all together same thing for the front you can see i added half inches round except for the sides that were already added allowance so i have two pieces here and i'm also using my fabric as the lining so that's for the bodies now let's go to the skirts now for the skirts we're making a gather skirt for the lower part of the dress a gather skirt so for your gather skirts what you do is you multiply your, your waist circumference by at least two or three inches so for instance now my waist is 30 and to do um, times three that'll be 90 inches but we want this dress to have a pocket so what that means is um we're going to gather the front separate from the back now my waist circumference is 30 so that means for front for front i have 15 inches for back i have 15 inches so now to cut the front i've already cut this out i'll just explain to you what i've done now since the front is for um, 15 inches i want to do at least times three or let's say times 2.5 it depends on what you want okay so what i have here now is this is about this is about 46 inches okay so i'm going to gather this back 46 inches is about times three of my um front waist circumference which is 15. so i want to gather this back to 15 inches and also leave like one, one inch on this for, um, for the side seam this is for the front then for the back same thing the only thing is that we'll have to open this back again because of the zipper allowance assuming this dress does not have a pocket okay we won't need to join it at the sides so i'm going to run a gather stitch on the waistline okay meanwhile i'm dividing the back into two because of the zip allowance i'm going to run a gather stitch and gather this back to 15 both of them that's 7.5 7 for the back then for the front the front waist circumference is 15 so i'm going to gather this back to 17. the extra two inches is for the side seam allowance and of course i have my pockets here let me show the measurement i'm using so for my pocket i'm doing um eight and a half by 11 or let's say 11 and a half inches for my pocket so we're gonna go straight to the sewing okay so right now i'm going to go ahead and sew 
my dart on all the pieces on the fabric separate lining separate that on the back all the back pieces and all the front pieces so let me do that meanwhile while i do that i'm going to run my gather stitches on the skirt too so let me do that okay so i've seen it finished sewing on my darts on the front bodies um, both fabric and lining same thing for the back all my back pieces so what i'm going to do now i'm going to join the front and back together at the shoulder fabric to fabric lining to lining so this these are my two front pieces i'm going to join them together i mean front and back together at the shoulder sorry like this so this is fabric i'll do the same thing for the lining so let me do that okay guys so we're gonna continue the tutorial <clears throat> now to make it a bit easier okay for us i said we should join um the front and back together at the shoulder which is what i've done okay but on the wrong side okay so um after you've done that you want to turn the neckline starting from the front the neckline all the way down to the back here then also the armhole starting from the front you turn it from the front all the way to the back okay so this is just one piece front and back and this is the second piece front and back it's not difficult what i've just said now is you know you are sewing it on the on the wrong side i've just flipped it over to the um, right side so you can see how my shoulder is so the next thing we are going to do right now is <clears throat> You know, because of the wrap, that's why the body is looking separated in front. So what I'll do now is, now I'm going to take one piece like this and flip over um, the, um, the front piece and also the back piece like this. I'll flip it over like so, join it together at the armhole. Can you see? Then I'll just go ahead and sew my one inch side seam allowance all the way down. I'm going to repeat the same process on this other side here, like this, and sew one inch down. So let me do that. Okay, so can we see the inside? I'm done. All right. So the next thing now, we are going to uh, make the, the two front pieces overlap in front, and um, you know, overlap like so. Then before you pin it down. You want to confirm if your waist circumference measurement is still complete. So my waist circumference measurement is M30. So for the front, I'm supposed to have 15. Can you see? This is 15. I'll just still move it inward a bit. Like so. So let me confirm again from here. This is my side seam. To the other side seam. This is 15. So I can now pin this down. I want to pin this down like this then I'll just put my bodies aside for now and we're going to work on the skirt so let me just finish pinning okay so for my skirt okay this is the um this is the front part okay so I've been able to gather this back to 15 inches which is my waist circumference for the front and I have of course my one inch for my side seam here then the back the two back pieces the same thing now the reason why we divided it is because we want to attach pocket i said it's because of the pocket so for the back okay what i have here is 7.5 then extra one, one inch for zipper allowance and side seam so altogether this is 9.5 and this is my second back piece here so before we start coupling them together we're going to fix um, our pockets so this is the front I'll get my pockets now and show us how to fix it. Okay, so this is um, one of the sides for the front of the skirt. This is the skirt. So this is one of the sides here. So what I'll do is I'm going to pick one of my pockets. One of them. Okay, then I'll make right side face right side. Then the pocket can start, you know, about one inch after um after the waistline you know we're still going to take half inch for seam allowance so it can start one inch after the waistline then i'm just going to pin this down 
I'll pin this down and sew one inch all the way down. So it's going to be like this. Then I'll take the second back piece. Sorry, one of the back pieces. Okay, you know, right side facing right side. This is it. So I'll take uh, my pockets and also make. I'll also make my right side face the right side of my skirts. Okay, so and make sure you come down at least by one inch. I'll pin it together. Now I'll go ahead and attach the pocket to the skirt. So let me do that. Okay, so after attaching the pocket, this is where I'm going to have. So this is the one for the front part. You can see. Then for the back here. So now I'm going to play. I will repeat the same process for the other side. It's the same thing. So I'm going to place the front and back together like this. Meanwhile, our side seam allowance is one inch. So you just fold the seam allowance this way. Then let me show what I want to do. Now from here, our seam allowance is one inch. So we just come like this. Meanwhile, this is where the seam started from. So you come all the way like this and then go like this half inch round. Then when we come back here, you come here, you make a sharp corner and then one inch all the way down. And you repeat the same process for the other side. So let me just pin the pocket together and go and sew the two side seams. Okay guys, so I've finished fixing the pockets. So this is one pocket on this side and of course the second pocket on the other side. So we're almost done with the sewing. So right now I'm going to attach the bodies to the skirts. Okay, I've already pinned this down. Okay, so let me just pin here too. So that it'll be easy for us to attach. So what I'll do now is I'm going to attach the bodies to the skirts. Okay, starting from the one end of the zipper allowance all the way to the other end. So let me do that. Okay, so after sewing, this is how it's going to look like. Okay, so um, you know, it's a cross. The bodice is a cross and then it's a pinafore. So if you like, you can just stitch this down or you leave it like so. Meanwhile, before you before you, you make your gathers on the skirts, make sure you roll the hem of your dress. So the last thing to do now will be to go and fix our zipper. So I'm going to go ahead and fix my zipper. Okay guys, so this is the final outcome of the pinafore dress. Looking so lovely. So um, to rock this, you can put on a long sleeve, either a shirt or um, what do you call it? Is it a round neck? Just make sure it's long sleeve to bring out the beauty more. Now let me quickly show us the back view. Okay, so this is the back view. Okay, so that will be all for now. So that will be all for now. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get notification each time we upload new videos. Follow us on all our social media handles on Facebook, on Instagram, on Pinterest. Just search for Wheel Allah and you will find us there. Thank you very much. I mean, Lala.